Thank you. Dick, we've talked a lot in the past about your influences in terms of uh, people who have played. But I'd like, while Gloria Musikai comes in, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about all the things you are was written by Hammerstein and Kern. Um, but who are some of the composers? Who are some of the people? Because I was hearing Ravel in there. <laughs> Thank you. Um, composers I mm -hmm. like? Oh. Well, not only that you like, but that you feel influenced no, I've been influenced you. by them, I, I think. Yeah. Well, the jazz people, of course, Art Tatum, Teddy Wilson, uh, Fats Waller, but among the pianist uh, composers, Chopin, uh, I heard a Mozart piano concerto this morning, which was wonderful. I think it was number eight. Um, piano composers uh, appeal to me because they really know all about the piano. Us uh, jazz people are just beginning to catch on and catch up to them. Yeah, and, you're, and you were, of course, classically trained. Mm -hmm. And you ha how much do you practice during the day? An hour or two. S still. Oh, yes, well. especially still. What's, <laughs> what's interesting to me is that that particular song has made its way into so many different things. It was originally heard in the Hammerstein Kern musical, Very Warm for May. And then five years later, it wound up in a movie called Broadway Rhythm. Then a year after that, which brings us only to 1945, it was used in the romantic comedy, A Letter for Evie. And it came back again in the 2005 film Mrs. Henderson Presents, starring Judy Dench. Uh, which brings us to some of the original songs that you've written. This, these are arrangements and improvisations of, of things that we know. But you're particularly attracted to poetry by Espy. Tell us a little about him. Willard Espy was a fellow I got to know when we were both living in New York City uh, a couple of decades back. In fact, we lived in the same apartment building for, for a time. He wrote light verse, and he was especially fond of uh, verbal wordplay. Uh, for example, the piece we have coming up, which is called I Scarce Recall, uses a sort of a chain link sort of rhyme. The last syllable of each phrase is the first syllable of the next phrase, but, but usually a different word entirely, just the same sound. And I think you'll see that. Uh, he did other things. He did all sorts of comic and witty things, and I tried to match him in the setting. They're comic and witty, but wait until you hear the way Dick has, has set the, this poem, particularly. Uh, it's, it's very, very beautiful, and yet it's very witty, and it's, it's funny, it's charming. So we have Gloria Musikai with us, Joseph Holt, and I Scarce Recall, original music by Dick Hyman. <laughs> 